ओके गाइस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट वेयर डू यू पैल्पेट फॉर पेरिफ्रल पल्सेस लाइक इन जनरल फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन वी है वी हैव अ हैबिट वी से द पल्स रेड देन वी ऑलवेज से ऑल पेरिफ्रल पल्सेस फेल्ड सो दिस इज वन प्लेस वेयर एग्जामिनर्स कैन इजली कैच यू इफ यू डोंट नो वेयर डू यू पैल्पेट द रिमेनिंग पल्सेशन सो विल मूव मूव फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट कम्स द कॉमन कैरोटिड आर्ट्री सो वेयर डू यू पैल्पेट द पल्सेशन ऑफ कॉमन कैरोटिड आर्ट्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू नो द पल्सेशन यू शुड नो लोकेशन ऑफ द आर्ट्री वेयर आर यू पैल्पेटिंग एंड अगेंस्ट वॉट स्ट्रक्चर आर यू पैल्पेटिंग सो डैट यू नो बिकॉज पल्स यू वोंट फील अदरवाइज यू नीड टू पैल्पेट अगेंस्ट समथिंग सो डैट यू फील pulsating pulse pulsation so where do you palpate the common carotid artery so common carotid artery is palpated with the thumb and how do you palpate uh, keep a, keep the thumb on the medial border of the sternocleidomastoid how against the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid at the level of thyroid cartilage at c6 vertebra this is a name which is known as chas next tubercle this is very important to know then coming on where do you see superficial temporal artery pulsation so superficial temporal artery you must know it is a branch of external carotid artery and it is seen and it is pulsated in front of the tragus of the ear yeah now coming on to the subclavian artery so subclavian artery it is it uh, pulsation can be felt at mid clavicular point now coming on to the axillary artery so axillary artery in the lateral wall of axilla between the two axillary folds against the humor against the humerus bone now brachial artery so where do we palpate the pulsation of brachial artery it is palpated medial to the tendon of biceps brachii against the radius bone now where do you palpate the radial artery along the lower border of the lateral end of the radius means against the radius radius bone where do you palpate the femoral artery this is one of the most important thing to palpate uh, where do mid point it is palpated between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic symphysis so this is very important now coming on to the femoral artery then further it go gives popliteal artery so for popliteal artery you have three method one is the supine method second is the prone method and third is the fushik method so you can perform any i most probably prefer doing a supine method so this is comparatively easy also and i find it more comfortable then uh, posterior tibial artery so posterior tibial artery where it is found it is it is found between the tip of the medial malleolus and the point of the heel means slightly just behind the medial malleolus then dorsalis pedis so this is very important this is uh, lateral to the tendon of extensor hallucis against the first intermetatarsal space then now the anterior tibial artery anterior tibial artery is palpated midway between the two malleoli okay so see first photo that you see so this is the carotid artery palpation against the c6 to c6 vertebra tubercle now next what do you see this is the brachial artery so brachial artery you know we have a structure ambiguous structure in the brachial artery that is median nerve brachial artery biceps tendon and superficial branch of radial nerve so it is pal palpated medial to the tendon of biceps brachii okay so this is palpating the brachial artery now coming on to the femoral artery so femoral artery is palpated between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic symphysis you can see this is the pubic symphysis and this is the anterior superior iliac spine so between two you are trying to palpate now this is the popliteal artery and we, uh, this we are doing by supine method okay so this is the posterior tibial artery behind the malleoli you are going and palpating just 1 to 2 cm this is the dorsalis pedis so this is this is basically the tendon okay so lateral to the tendon of extensor hallucis longus you are trying to palpate for the dorsalis pedis so basically when does this hold important in case of any peripheral vascular disease so you want to know where, uh, which artery does not receiving so that area is prone for ischemia necrosis and gangrene so you need to know so pulsation so peripheral pulsation is very important in those cases